Good morning. On my way here, I learned that our president is perhaps diagnosed with COVID. I understand that the symptoms are light. I hope they continue to be so. That was my experience, and uh, I hope that that's the case uh, for the president. Anything that affects the president has an impact in our country. It's more uh, well known, shall we say. Uh, so let's hope that it would encourage people to be tested, to have um, uh, the um, vaccines, the boosters, and the rest. Uh, the pres this is a, um, I don't know exactly which a assault has been made on the president in terms of, but what is happening now is rampant, but it is not as, um, uh, and having such a negative impact on people's health. Let's hope that that continues to be the case, but we don't know. So I don't know enough about what the, what, how the president has been diagnosed to make any informed decision about that. But let us let people know that none of us is immune from it, including the president of the United States, and we really have to be careful. I don't ever discuss my travel plans. It's a national, it's a security issue. Uh, you never even hear me say if I'm going to um, London because it is a security issue. And so I won't be discussing that now. But that is a very major issue. And it is, uh, uh, if you were going to have a discussion about that, I think that it's important for us to show support uh, for Taiwan. I also think that we have, none of us has ever said we're for independence when it comes to Taiwan. That's up to Taiwan to decide. Uh, but uh, if what you're, the inference to draw on from your comment is that my going there uh, is problematic. Uh, I think what the president was saying is the maybe the military was afraid our plane would get shot down or something like that by the Chinese. I don't know exactly. I didn't see it. I didn't hear it. You're telling me, and I've heard it anecdotally, but um, I haven't heard it from the president.